it's Adam from uh, Friends of Western Shore here. Uh, I'm on Western Shore on a really beautiful Friday morning in the middle of summer. It's absolutely glorious here today. I'm going to be looking around at the wildlife uh, here on the shore, having a look at that and talking about it. Um, in the Friends of Western Shore we're getting really excited about our big cleanup on Saturday the 8th of August. Uh, starting at 10 a.m. near the Pitch and Putt course. Please do come down and join us. We've got lots of litter pickers for everybody to use. It's going to be great fun and we're really excited about another opportunity to clean up the beach and make it look as beautiful and pristine as possible. So we hope to see you there. This is uh, bladderwrack, which is a common type of seaweed found on Western Shore. It gets its name for the pairs of air bladders which float its fronds towards light. It's a strong plant and grows rapidly. It's also a habitat for the seaweed fly. This is a common sight on the shore. It's a cuttle bone and it's an internal shell from a cuttle fish, an animal that belongs to the same group as octopuses and squids. This year we've seen a lot of these barrel jellyfish washed up on the shore and that's due to um, it being really ideal conditions for them this year and they've uh, that's led to lots of them being in the water and some of them end up washed up on the beach. Now this green colour here is a type of seaweed called gutweed and it's distinctive for its bright green colour which you can often see all along the, the uh, shoreline. It blooms during the summer so it gets uh, bigger and bigger uh, along the shore during the summer months and um, there's several different types. It's also called, the scientific name is uh, intestinalis, and you can often see it with bubbles of air trapped inside its long fronds, and they have a look, the look of the intestines, so that's where it gets its name from. It's a summer annual plant, so decay and form masses of bleached fronds towards the end of the season. So the idea of the cleanup is to uh, have a litter pick on the shore, and get rid of lots of the rubbish. Now I've got to say one of the funny things that we find on a regular basis on the shore are these lumps of blue material. It looks like a sort of blue polystyrene, blue plastic and if anybody has an idea what this is do let us know because we do see a lot of it. I wonder if it's packaging for some sort of industrial product. It's smooth on one side and it's got a sort of contour bit on the other side. Uh, and we do see a lot of these things and spend a lot of our time clearing them up. So do let us know if you have any ideas. Hello there. I'm at the stream on Western Shore and this is a really beautiful part of the area. What's interesting to me today is that uh, um, it's clear to me that um, the nature changes obviously over the course of a year and different plants uh, come forward during the different seasons. Uh, so you get a real sense of the progression of the year. Uh, when you're in a place like this and seeing the different plants come into bloom uh, and then die away and then replaced by other plants. So it's fascinating to see it all and it's just a really beautiful part of Western Shore. I love it here. The stream has, at uh, Western Shore has some beautiful teasel growing nearby and these are coming into flower now as they do in July. Uh, so it's wonderful to see that. The teasel is uh, visited by bees when they're in flower, so clearly they are a very important part of our ecosystem. One of the things that the Friends of Western Shore have been very interested in recently is learning more about the animals and the plants that live on Western Shore and the wildlife and nature to be found there. And we've got a very good friend in the form of Mr. Phil Budd from the Southampton Natural History Society, who's been kind enough to uh, help us learn more about that with guided walks on the shore. And if that's something that might be of interest to you, please do get in touch, as this is something we're keen to develop in the future. Now here we have a very common item of litter that we find on the shore. This is this blue thing here is the stick from a cotton bud. So if you have a cotton bud, obviously normally it starts off with two little fluffy bits at either end. And what happens is people chuck them down the toilet and the fluffy bits at the end uh, decay in the uh, sewage treatment system. But um, the blue plastic bit gets washed up on the beach and our beaches, generally speaking, are covered in these things. So please, please, please don't, whatever you do, 
throw cotton buds down the toilet. Now this is sea purslane, which is uh, quite a distinctive plant. It's a low-lying greenish-grey shrub that grows in discrete patches on the shore. It's an evergreen and uh, it flowers between July and September, so it's just starting to have a, a, a bit of growth at the moment. It's a habitat for numerous insects, including the lesser marsh grasshopper and coneheads. So it's a very important part of the ecosystem on the shore. And not only can it be found uh, over Europe, it's also found in Western Asia and parts of Africa. And uh, as I say, once it is distinctive, so once you see it and know what it is, you can recognize it all over the place. So please do come and join us on Saturday the 8th of August 2015 starting at 10 a.m. going on to 1 p.m. Uh, we're going to be starting down by the pitch and putt course down the other end of the shore from where I am today and uh, we've got all the litter pickers so please please do come along and help us clean up the shore. Thanks ever so much.